You may have heard it said that plants make their own food, but have you ever wondered how they can do that? The answer is a process called photosynthesis. The word photosynthesis is made up of two parts. Photo, which means light, and synthesis, which means to put together. Therefore, the word photosynthesis means to put together with the help of light. Through photosynthesis, plants can convert energy from sunlight into the chemical energy that they use to fuel activities like growing and producing seeds. In order to perform photosynthesis, plants need three basic things. Sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide. Plants convert these parts into starches and sugars and give off oxygen. Now that you know what photosynthesis is, let's take a closer look at how it works. First, the plant takes in sunlight. This process happens in the leaves and other green parts of plants, and it's all thanks to some special structures called chloroplasts. Chloroplasts contain a chemical called chlorophyll, which is what makes plants green. The chlorophyll is what absorbs the energy from the sunlight that the plant can use to do its work. The plant also takes in carbon dioxide from the air. You probably already know that humans and other animals need oxygen in the air they breathe to live. Plants also need fresh air, but instead of oxygen, they rely on carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide from the atmosphere enters the leaves through tiny pores called stomata. Finally, the plant takes in water and other nutrients from the soil, typically through its roots. This water travels up the stem of the plant to the leaves, where it's used in photosynthesis. Inside the leaves, the sunlight and water combine with the carbon dioxide to form glucose. Glucose is a type of sugar that plants use to grow and stay healthy. During photosynthesis, the plant also converts the carbon dioxide to oxygen, which it releases through its stomata back into the atmosphere. Nearly all of the oxygen in the atmosphere is created by plants performing photosynthesis. Although grass and forests are really important, up to about 70% of the oxygen on Earth is created by ocean plants, like phytoplankton, or microscopic plant-like organisms that can turn parts of the water green. Without plants performing photosynthesis, we would not have oxygen to breathe. Oxygen isn't the only important byproduct of photosynthesis, however. Remember those sugars we talked about? That is the food for the plant. The plant can use this sugar to grow, stay healthy, and make flowers and fruits. This is also very useful for humans and other animals. Since animals cannot make their own food from sunlight, they can get energy by eating the plants that do. Without plants performing photosynthesis and converting water, light, and carbon dioxide into sugars and oxygen, humans and all the animals on Earth would not be able to survive. I hope you enjoyed learning about photosynthesis today. Goodbye till next time.